For this multimodal presentation, I chose to look at the work of Manuel Rivera Ortiz, a Puerto Rican freelance photographer who focuses on living conditions and social issues in less developed countries. Ortiz was born in Guayama, Puerto Rico. However, his family moved to Rochester, New York when he was a young boy where he completed both his high school and college education. Upon completion of his undergraduate career at Nazareth College, Ortiz went to the journalism school at Columbia University. This is where his love for photography first began. Ortiz is best known for his photography in less developed countries such as Bolivia, Cuba, and India. The majority of his photos are taken in black and white and he relies on the authenticity of the scenes and people that he is photographing. These help strengthen his images. He's best known for his images of impoverished cultures, including a trip to Cuba and slums in India. Now I'd like to take a moment to examine some of Ortiz's photographs more closely to look at the elements and techniques that he uses to strengthen his photography. The first photograph I would like to look at is a photo of a pair of hands. This is a descriptive photograph taken in Bolivia by Ortiz. The viewer cannot tell whom the hands belong to, but by looking at the image can infer that they are the hands of someone old and someone who has spent their whole life working with their hands. I especially like how it appears that the palms of the person's hands are wet while the rest is caked with dust. I also enjoy that Ortiz leaves it up to the mind of the viewer to determine who these hands belong to and how they became to look like this. This next photograph was taken at a city dump in India. It appears that a pipeline is running right through the dump. This doesn't contain the happiness that each children in the picture shows. I think this is also a good example of the effects of globalization. Rather than cleaning this area up, the decision was made to run a pipeline through it only decreasing the quality of life for those living in the surrounding areas. My hope is that these next two photographs will show how it is the people who Ortiz is photographing that makes his work so great. He is not trying to do anything too complicated. He just photographs real people in real situations. This photo is part of a series Ortiz did on tobacco on the tobacco plant in Cuba. You see the whole family and then the large, enormous tobacco field that surrounds them. This next photo was taken during a trip to the mountainous regions of Bolivia, once again highlighting the real people in real situations. This photo is my favorite photo of Ortiz's taken during one of his trips to the Indian slums. It shows the terrible living conditions that these inhabitants of this area see the proliferation of trash, and I think also the very interesting thing is how the railroad runs directly through the slum, almost acting as a sidewalk for its area's inhabitants. The favorite thing that Ortiz does is his foundation that he created that provides funding to photographers in less developed nations with the hopes that some of the images that Ortiz captured can be recreated and replicated. 